16, I was a springboard and tower diver. So leaping into the unknown is not unfamiliar, but I can tell you it's always scary, especially when you're on a 10 metre platform outdoors on a windy day. So he goes the deep dive. Super trooper beams are gonna blind me, but I won't feel blue like I always do. Cause somewhere in the crowd there's you. When I was a little girl, I used to hide in my bedroom and sing ABBA songs to myself and dream of being on stage. I grew up in a house uh, that was a place of fear, of humiliation and um, violence and assault. For my mum, my brother and me, it was not safe. I struggled in high school and at 19, I found out I was pregnant. No one thought me having a baby was a good idea. I knew it was. And when they handed, handed me this bundle of boy with a shock of blonde hair, and I held him in my arms for the first time, I knew I was home. Thomas is now 38 and one of the world's leading makeup artists. Ivan and Nicholas, his two siblings, are each making their own path. As an artist of over 35 years professional practice, I can tell you without doubt that these children are my most creative work. Having Thomas changed everything. It gave me a focus and a direction. It gave me hope. It was the springboard to my creativity. So hold fast. Hold fast is a Dutch Norwegian nautical term. It's a call to action to sailors when approaching a storm to grab hold of the ropes and the rigging of the ship. Hold tight so they don't get washed overboard. It's an act of survival. Now sailors sometimes tattoo the letters across their knuckles. It's kind of a visual reminder that mentally and physically, if they hold on tight, they'll get through the storm. Now I don't have those tattoos, but I hold these words very close. Hold fast for me means not giving up. It means holding on to what you believe in. Now having Thomas meant that if I was gonna pursue my passion for theater, I was gonna do it differently. There was no drama school. Um, I learned actually by watching and by doing and step by step, show by show, I found my creative voice. At 26, I had a show that I wrote, directed and performed in, picked up by the Perth Festival. This led to, to an invitation to the Sydney Theatre Company um, for me to explore new Australian playwriting. I then became the co-artistic director of Playworks the National Women's Writers' Workshop. And it was here that writing by women became a cause as well as a passion. Now around that time, there was a, a, an attitude or a thought that basically works by women, plays by women, couldn't sell tickets. So it is with great joy that I look at our seasons of our main stages now and see the names of Joanna Murray Smith, Susie Miller, Alana Valentine, Andrea James, 
Leah Purcell, Marilyn Tong, and many, many more. From the margins to the main stage, change is possible. But it was pretty tough to be a woman artist in the 90s, um, especially with a young family. So I decided I'd start my own company, Steamworks Arts. I was determined that women's writing and artistry, their creativity, would be centre stage. We worked with artists and designers and producers and composers, um, sharing women's stories and um, bringing them to the, the main stage, I guess. Um, I've had the privilege of working in many countries across the world, touring regionally, nationally and internationally. Next year, uh, Steamworks Arts will celebrate 25 years as a project company. Right now, I'm the executive producer of the 10 Days on the Island Festival. Here, we're actually visioning um, uh, radical regionalism. Initially led by Lindy Hume and now under the artistic leadership of Marnie Carmelita, we're placing our artists front and centre of our festival. It's exciting. Um, so 2025, watch this space. Now, I know I'm not the world's greatest mum, and hopefully my kids forgive me. But I do know that wherever I've been in the world, every parent is aspirational for their child, as every artist is for their art. But there have been many storms and wild seas, and I have been almost washed overboard. There have been times of struggle, of loneliness, of fear, which I know we can all relate to. Um, times of making do, times of not being able to pay the rent, afford groceries, counting the items in my trolley. We all know what it is to make do, hang in there, hold fast. Family is also community. And the power we have is when we hold fast together. Courage and creativity go hand in hand. I might be standing here alone, but I can feel, hear and see the presence of those who have lifted me up, who have believed in me and been my champions. None of us will be here without our elders and our custodians, our collaborators and our mentors. Having Thomas taught me three things. It taught me to believe in myself when no one else did. It taught me to say yes, even if I don't know the outcome. It taught me to take that deep dive. It's also taught me the power of sharing stories. Our stories bring us connection and meaning, growth and healing and hope. My family is my inspiration and they have taught me what it is to love. They are my map and my compass. They're my ballast and my wheel. They're the rudder on my life's boat. Hold fast to what you believe in. Trust your gut, your instinct and your heart. Stay true. And if we hold fast together, we will survive any storm. Thank you for listening.